All right, guys. It's time to have a. It's time to have a talk. Gotta have a real talk here. Um, as a lot of you guys know, On Chain Gaming is now fully an independent channel. Thank goodness. Um, it couldn't have happened sooner. It needed to happen sooner, but it's finally, finally happened. And I think it's going to be really, really helpful for the entire space. But I just made a slideshow. Um, about 13 slides going through some of your guys' comments and, and some things that I want to talk about because I know that the kind of change of sentiment, which I don't even think it's a change of sentiment about the entire space, it's a change of sentiment about specific actions taking place in the space. Pretty much, I was silenced before. The things that kind of gritted on me, I, I ignored. I looked at the world through rose-colored glasses and now that I am being completely honest and I'm, I'm not sugarcoating stuff. It's shocked a lot of people. And there's some people that are just like really, really happy about the new on-chain gaming. And there's some people that are really, really sad and disheveled and, and feel like I have abandoned them. So I really, really want to, to address this. So without further ado, let's jump into this slideshow. So we're gonna start by looking at some of the positive comments, um, which I've actually really been shocked by. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at some of the negative comments as well. So this first comment is from Atronics. He said, I like that, you're fi that you finally communicate your thoughts without the censorship from sponsors. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie Oi said, Hey Jake, totally agree with you and hope Gala changed the way they develop their NFT. Daily video is the way to do. Without game sponsor, you can speak the facts and be the voice for all of us. And this is really what I feel, guys. I think this is going to be so, so good for the space. Um, Notorious Max says, LFG, uh, glad you are not sponsored anymore. Um, let's do a couple more pages of this. The um, and then we'll get to the negative comments. Rarely watch your content before, says Womble Crypto. This new approach is going out on your own way better. Um, so he's saying that, yeah, doing it, doing it on your own, actually being able to fundamentally think about things from a fundamental level and share what I actually believe is best instead of having strings attached and money influencing my my statements is just so, so much better. Uh, Griff Park says, crazy to hear you have the exact same opinions of spider tanks as I do. Glad to see the real OCG. Take care, man. Um, Into... Intem Kate says, uh, the Gala greed is nothing new for anybody who has been around. We need some competitors to emerge. Um, let me remove myself here for a second. Um, we can't only have this greedy company as an option for a Web3 gaming platform. Um, I, I, I still love Gala and, and we're going to get to this a bit more. My criticism is not because I hate Gala now or because I am I am like angry or want to get back at them. It's because I love Gala and I want Gala to be the best ecosystem it can be for the community. So we'll, we'll get more, more into that. Um, El Ellen Sol Solem says, first time you made an honest post. Uh, good that Gala stopped to sponsor you. I like your honest and real content. Um, so yeah, we're just really seeing the sentiment. Just two more and we'll get to the negative comments. Um, this guy, oh, this has, okay, these are the negative comments now. So um, this is a, a post that got upvoted quite a lot. Uh, this guy has a serious vendetta, vendetta against Scala now, he says. He went from pumping them to only t talking shit about them in every video ever since they stopped paying him. It's pretty hard to believe anything he says now. Either he was lying about Gala before because he was bought out or he is lying now to get revenge. Um, this is a really, really pessimistic take, but I definitely understand where it's coming from. Um, I, I wasn't lying before, but I was looking at everything through extremely rose-colored glasses. And because of that, I pulled punches. I, I didn't... I didn't express when I didn't agree with something. And this was really enabling and it was a really bad situation. Um, and now I'm not, I'm not lying to try and get back to the, I don't think, yeah, it's, it's not as black as white as that. And it's not as it's, I think it's not as pessimistic as that take, but I definitely understand where it's coming from. Um, 
Gavin Boner said, hang on a moment. Didn't you think Gala Games was the best thing since sliced bread until they didn't want to renew your contract to promote them on your channel? Now, all of a sudden, you seem extremely negative towards Gala. Hmm. So let's let's read a couple more of these. Uh, Transparency and crypto, LOL, talking about Gala uh, only because they dissed you and now you tried to bring FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, and once again, guys, that's not my goal here. I, I want Gala to improve. I want Gala to be an ecosystem for everyone. And an ecosystem that wants to keep 85%, give 50%. Like, it's it's just, it's not wrong as far as the old model of gaming goes, but that's not how Web3 is going to work. Um, and I And I really think it's time that I'm very clear about how this should actually work. So my goal is not is not spreading FUD, but helping the entire space elevate to the level that it should have been at. Uh, but let's let's read this next comment. This guy really has such sour grapes since Scala fired him. It's uh, cringing at this point, like the crazy X you dumped that keeps showing up at your party. So if, if that if that's the 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 way that I'm coming across, that's not my goal. So I, I apologize. Okay, so this is a tweet that I just made after like really assessing the sentiment, both from the positive and negative side. Um, I said, I'm sorry for not being the critical thinker the Web3 space needed during the bull market. I became a yes man due to greed. I was greedy, guys. And it wasn't only greed, having employees and feeling responsible for like keeping them uh, funded, like being able to, to provide their paychecks. It's a lot of responsibility and a lot of weight. And part of the reason we lost the sponsorship was because I was really, really negative on, uh, on one of Gala's drops for Mirandas. Cause I really cared about Mirandas. And it was just like, I, I cared more about Mirandas than the money finally. And that's what lost the sponsorship. Um, being really critical of their, of their horse drop, uh, because they, sold something that they had already sold the means of production to players for. And then like, oh, then we're also going to sell the thing that we thought you, that you guys thought you were going to sell. And I was like, Hey, this is, this is too much. Um, but yeah, I, there was greed guys that, that involved, that impacted the way that I, that I said things and the way that I viewed things. And one of the biggest problems about having rose colored glasses is that you fool yourself. And that's, what's really, really dangerous about it. Um, and I allowed things to get out of whack by never saying no, that's not okay. I hope you guys will give me a second chance. So now I want to uh, look at some of the, some of the responses to this post. So Jonah, um, he's a pretty big like Twitter influencer in the, in the web three space. He says, I respect this. I did not like your content when I first met you because it was super gala shill. We got off on the wrong foot. I support you being more real with your content. And I, respond, I, I responded, I appreciate that. It's crazy how blinding money can be. Rose-colored glasses are a powerful thing. And that's the truth. Uh, Scuzz says, respect. We all make mistakes. I remember first following you because you had good takes. Started to lose interest when the sponsorships came out. Now that you are back, I'll definitely support you and your content. Um, I said, much love. I've never been, it's never been more clear to me. And this is the truth, guys. It's never been more clear to me how important it is to stay independent going forward. Um, Jesse Hines, this is, uh, this was the lawyer, um, for Gala Games when I was first getting involved with Gala. And it was incredible when, when, when Jesse Hines was the lawyer of Gala Games, he, we had caveats in the contract where like they couldn't influence what I said at all. And that kind of changed over time. Jesse eventually uh, left or was fired. I don't know exactly what went down, um, but he says uh, you're better off and you should leave them in the past. Massive waste of your time. Um, and I, I understand this sentiment, um, but this is how I responded. I said, agreed uh, with, with being better off the whole channel, the whole space is better off now. Um, but, then I said, maybe I'm foolish to hope that sharing my honest opinions and defending the community's point of view may cause Gala to improve. Like, that's really what I want. I want Gala to improve. I want Gala to succeed, to succeed. I've led so many people to get involved with them. I have led so many people to get involved with them. I really do want them to improve and succeed for the sake of Web3 and for my own reputation, just being completely honest. Um, but it would require a massive change. 
And, and that's, that's the truth. And then maybe I waited too long and maybe it's gotten too far to change, but I hope not. Um, and so this, this comment uh, was on YouTube and I think it hit the nail on the head. Great job, NFT Gaming. He says, I think Gala needs critics like this to fix problems and balance the ecosystem. Let's see the Gala's, re let's see Gala's reaction and action. So this is it, guys. This is it. If you have a friend that you love and they're doing something that's extremely destructive for their own life, is it more loving to be critical and tell them, hey, this isn't good. You, got, you need to change this. Or is it more loving to let them keep destroying their life? Sometimes having the intervention is the most loving thing that you can do. And losing the contract was kind of an intervention for me in a way from, from God or something like it, it really removed the road, rose colored glasses. And trust me, guys, my, my, it's not like my entire viewpoints just, just like flipped. I've been wrestling with a lot of stuff for a long time. And I was really, really wrestling with rejecting the contract because I knew that being the voice of the people, even though it meant less money now could mean that on-chain gaming could get so much bigger long-term because you could actually trust what I'm saying. And I knew deep down, even though I didn't want to believe it, that it would be for the better to be independent. Um, so yeah, I, I, I hope that you guys view my critiques of Gala going forward when I do critique them. And there's going to be stuff that I really like too. Like Gala still has the, the best um, library of games in the Web3 space, I think. Um, and I don't want to be critical just for the sake of being critical. I want to be critical when something they're doing actually contradicts with, with what I fundamentally believe is the best for the space. <sighs> All right. Um, the, now going, this is going back to the responses um, to my post. Um, some people were reasonably uh, skeptical of my apology that I made on Twitter. Um, Cryptic Clive Alive says, you just sound bitter. Uh, you were happy, big up gala continuously when they were paying you. What's to say someone else is not now paying you to discredit them? It's an unfollow for me as I cannot be sure a word you say is genuine. And I responded to this. That's fair. Hopefully over time, I can build trust with you again. Um, it would be unfair to expect broken trust to be mended with a single tweet. Um, and that's the truth. Uh, so hopefully over time, as I, I prove by my actions that I really want what's best for the community and by explaining my thinking um, so that you can follow my logic, um, I can start to build trust again. But I can't expect that instantly. Um, and then Crosschain uh, Maxi CCM says, until the next time someone pays you, LOL. Um, so my, my response to this is the sponsorship email for Onchain Gaming. Um, it's a burn address now. Uh, I don't check it. I let my agent go and I'm staying independent going forward. Um, obviously, I still need to be able to like pay my mortgage and stuff. I don't have employees anymore, um, but I will be funded through ad revenue, Patreon, viewers, um, and, and guys, like this is a very, very important thing to note. Um, it's one of the biggest things that like Elon tried to do on Twitter and I'll bring it back to, to the channel. Don't worry. But on Twitter, the customers were the advertisers, not the users. And what the advertisers wanted is what Twitter would enforce. So if the advertisers, uh, didn't want, uh, a certain sentiment to be shared on the platform because then they would pull ads. Twitter had no choice but to remove those people. And the first thing that Elon did was by charging uh, to be verified on Twitter, which a lot of people didn't like, but it, it made a big fundamental change. It made it so that the users became the customers instead of the advertisers being the customers. And what's the point of a business? To serve the customers. So the same thing happened with on-chain gaming. The viewers, you guys, you guys stopped being the customer and it's really sad. Gala became my customer. Other, other game studios became my customer and I started serving them instead of the viewers. And like, that is so messed up. This is one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in my entire life. Um, and, and I think I knew it fundamentally, but like you had to like 
get smacked in the face with the reality of the situation, I think, for it to really sink in, at least for me. Some people might be faster than me. Uh, but for me, I had to actually experience it. So now that, that on-chain gaming is, is independent again um, by being funded through Patreon by viewers, guess what? The viewer, you, the viewer are my customer again. And my role is now to serve you and instead of instead of the big greedy organizations. And that's the way that it needs to stay going forward. Um, and then also I'll be promoting my own AI app that I'm working on, uh, which is unrelated to Web3 uh, purposely so that it will not change my opinions in the space. It's completely in a different space. It does mean that there's going to be less conversion, right? Like a lot of you guys aren't going to care that much about um, being able to generate a novel with a prompt or something, but some of you guys will like it. And, and by being my own sponsor, no one else has any say over anything that I say, and that's the way that it needs to be going forward. So I just want to conclude uh, with this sentiment here. I love real ownership um, and the open digital economy dream. <laughs> it's, it's still amazing to me. I, I've literally read Ready Player One three times, and... Every single time, I just really like, I want to, the digital world, the reason it's so cool is because it's like, it, it's going to level the playing field by giving everyone opportunity, but then also you can be anyone, do anything. And if you can have a free open economy in the digital space, a, a metaverse or whatever you want to call it, it's going to be just such a cool thing. Now there's going to be downsides to it as well um, that we, we are going to have to address and, and be honest about. Um, but one thing that I know for certain is if a game company is planning on taking 85% of whatever gets put into this economy out for themselves, that's not going to be an open economy. That's not going to be anything that's sustainable. That's like way worse than a casino. Like casinos will advertise, we pay out 98% or something like that. Um, and Gala's like, we'll pay out 15%. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's something, but like, and maybe that can work, but that's not the metaverse I dream of. Um, so being an enabling yes, man was damaging for the entire space. That's the truth. Um, a lot of the reasons why gamers hate NFTs is because the offer has been, Hey, pay us more for a worse experience. Of course, gamers are going to hate that. Um, we must say hard things to those we love. Not giving honest, constructive feedback is what actually does real harm. And then Gala would be better today, and I really believe this, Gala would be better today if I had not taken so long to wake up. If I had not taken so long to wake up, um, I think that it wouldn't have gotten so bad, right? It wouldn't have gone so far in this, in this direction. So... That's all I wanted to share today, guys. Um, I see all your comments. I, I, I understand both perspectives. I really do. Um, and, uh, and yeah, if I've lost some of your guys' trust, trust me, I get it. I get it. Um, but just know, and I don't know how to make you believe, like, like actually know that like this is the truth coming from my heart, except by just walking the walk for a while. Um, just know that my heart is for the Web3 gaming space, for real player ownership, and I want to be the best advocate that I can be for this space um, and push all the companies in the space to, to be better for the, for the gamers, for you guys, for the community. And an 85% tax won't work. Um, a lot of other stuff won't work. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the answers, though. I don't know what the perfect thing is. Um, but it, it has to do with giving players more and taking less, letting players own more and, and being okay with a smaller slice of a much, 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 much larger pie, um, that the web three space can create. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support on chain gaming, uh, make sure you check out our Twitter and uh, magic book linked below. Um, Sorry, the Patreon and the Magic Book linked below. Um, and until next time, everyone, like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.